In this training, we're going to look at creating and editing records inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. In order to create or edit records inside of SmartSuite, we first must be inside of a solution. So let's go ahead and access a solution. In this case, I'll pick on my gap contact solution. And bear in mind that when you're adding new records inside of SmartSuite, you can only be inside of one app at a time. In this case, I'm in my client's app. So if I wanted to add a record into my organization's app, I would first have to select my organization's app. Once I'm in the app where I want to add a new record, I have a couple of options. I might be able to add a record by clicking on to add new record here at the bottom. You'll also see that I can use a shortcut on my keyboard by hitting shift and enter. So if I'm here inside of my solution, I've selected this particular record, I can hit shift and enter on my keyboard and a brand new record is created and my cursor is automatically placed inside of that record. I'll just call this new record, for example. Additionally, I could hit this plus. That also allows me to create a new record. Let's give this a simple name of one, two, three. Or lastly, I can go up into the upper right corner and select new record from here. And this also then opens the record on my page, allows me to name it four, five, six. And in this case, I have to actually click save and that will allow the record to come into existence. Now that we've created new records, let's go back and edit those records. Let's say I wanted to have this called test cases instead of test case. I have to select that particular record, double click into there and add the text that I want to include. Another option for me is to highlight open record here on the side. You'll notice that by hovering over the open record, I also get the pro tip that when my cursor is hovered over a row, I can press the space bar and it's going to open the record. I can either open a record by clicking here, which then opens the record, or I can hover over a record and hit space bar and I then open that record as well. Once that record is open, I can also edit it from inside of this view. So I can come in and say that onboard client is completed. I can change the name of the record. Once I click save, any edits that I made are all saved at the same time and we'll see that reflected here in both the name of the record and the level of completedness on this checklist. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.